sauerkraut, waterfall, all olive, all bow, bow, wow, pow, tow, pow, south side, outside, pow, pow, outline, missile thought, fire, bounce, higher, pose, oh no. I was outside, now my power, pow, pow, now. Eyes where I should've speak up to the upside down, camera obscura, power down, scuba, mommy in Cuba, my wrist sounds good now. Out and about, title bout, bow, how loud, high, loud, move, tie, ass, tick, bow, arm, NASDAQ, abstract, back and rockin' chow down, has me to do some style. Metrically outbound Matter of fact, past that ginger pop in the cooler Cooler than the medulla of Rick the Ruler Hula hooping with new bow downs from Nuba That's that life of a king, got my crown out Feeling accomplished, super looper fresh chocolate Collective conscious, young crunk in your town now Be a minor aircraft, snapping like a bear trap Tijuana Air Max, chainmail gone The earthquakes, 100 dB, 90 BPM, heavy hitting them triple list, 100 sided dice, roll the 79 twice. Get ready, we bringing the jazz back with the rhythm, we giving them simple missiles of Midwest liquid mission. Tricky nicks and mixing, matching, scratching, rapping, action, Jackson making it happen. Pap it, midi, patch it, mapping with a pinch of magic, casting master synthesis. We gang of wig, give vixens, listening close to O's, flipping different widgets, mystic digits, coast to coast, pole to pole, folding time, golden time. Over low on Boom, we're back. This is TTM Academy, the MIT of hip hop science. So today, uh, before we start the lecture, um, we're going to be uh, I'm going to give you an update on um, uh, PMOS, um, the Periodic Matrix of Scratches 100, PMOS 100. And um, so, yeah, we're going to be adding uh, the next update is going to be keystrokes. We're adding keystrokes uh, so you can use your keyboard to uh, trigger all the samples, right? And, uh, yeah, I mean, eventually we're going to add MIDI keystrokes and stuff like that, but... You know, first we're just starting off with the regular keyboard keystrokes, right? So this would be, you know, you can use your keyboard to trigger all the hundred sounds in the sampler, right? And we're gonna have a, uh, you know, we're gonna keep the sale, the uh, twenty percent sale going, um, you know, because it's only fifty bucks, but we got the twenty percent sale where it's only forty bucks uh, if you cop it, you know, this month. We're probably gonna let it ride out to Black Friday. Or, or Cyber Monday or whatever and, and then probably cut it off after that. It'll be $50 again. And then on the Mac store, once we get the uh, iOS version launched in the Mac store, you know, that one's going to be like 50 Maybe it's going to be 60 because they take like 30%. So uh, right now we just got the Android available and we got the, uh, uh, what do you call it, the um, Mac desktop available. All right, so yeah, let's start today's lecture. This is a very, very important lecture that I've been wanting to do for a long time. Uh, you know, this is on uh, hip hop cults. You know, we've been covering hip hop cults this year. Um, so yeah, the and we focused on a lot of different hip hop cults from Rashad Jamal to uh, Ghazi Kozo to uh, Nature Boy, you know, and even uh, New Life Tools and and different things like that. You know, people that are presenting a lot of cap but mixing it with some real things, but mixing it with cap and, and misleading hip hop community, you know, even gang cults, because we consider, uh, you know, if you look at what a cult is, you know, gangs are cults, gangs are a type of cult, you know, so we, we've we seen the YSL gang taking down the whole, you know, uh, Young Thug and, and his whole cult, you know, you see these uh, blood gang cults are being taken down, but today we're going to be talking about uh, not, not Nature Boy's cult, we're going to be talking about the T. Now, I want to make it clear that at TTM Academy, we're a hip-hop science institution. We're not a gossip blog, uh, but, and we're not a, you know, we're basically here uh, talking about the science of what's going on, whether it's psychology, criminology, um, all these subjects, right? And as far as criminology, when somebody is... Um, uh, being kind of like a frenemy, 
uh, you know, we've all heard the concept of frenemy. They're, sometimes they're a friend, sometimes they're an enemy. Uh, I've noticed that the T is kind of a frenemy of Nature Boy. So the thing is, is if you go all the way back to the beginning, we're going to go all the way down. Um, and today we're going to prove that the T, the T has actually been uh, helping Nature Boy in a, in a couple of different ways, right? You know, we know that they're helping getting him convicted. But the thing is, is if you look here, uh, you know, we know that they've worked with the police. That's, that's what I'm saying. Like, we all, we all know that. That's public information that uh, the sister from the T. And I also want to send uh, a message out there saying, you know, this is not a diss of the sister from the uh, T. This is a critique. But, uh, uh, but on the criminology level, um, this is showing that that this sister that is running the T-blog is uh, not being straightforward with everybody, right? Because if you go to here and you see everything starts at one year ago. So you got to look at like, well, why does everything start at one year ago? If she's been dropping videos for a very, very long time on this cult. And, you know, if you're a law enforcement professional, um you basically got to go to her to go to get anything to get any information that's passed there so she's actually hiding information she's hiding vital information that could help uh people help uh get nature boy even more charges because right now he's um you know been charged with uh false imprisonment and the r word and and distributing uh you know smash films online and you know he could have a hundred more charges if those other videos past this one year point were available, right? Because if those other videos were available, somebody that, let's say you had somebody that was living in, in Cali or, or somewhere or some other city that they used to be in or Puerto Rico, maybe they got scammed by, by them and, and, and a local police force from that area can use those videos to triangulate what's happening without having the inbox and make the T as kind of like a mediator, uh, or not a mediator, I'm sorry, as like a information hub. Like if you want to, you know, if you want the information on carbonation, you know, uh, contact her, you got to talk with her and the police are going to have to get the, you know, private videos or, or, or whatever. You know, she's kind of hoarding public, I mean, she's hoarding information that was once public. So when you're hoarding information for views and clicks and likes and stuff like that, um, you know, it's uh, it's a very kind of a slippery slope. And I want to send a big, 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 big shout out to to the whole Beam team. You know, I want to send a big shout out to um, you know King World and uh, Cool Live Streaming because you know they've uh, uh, nicknamed uh, this sister you know Kool Aid. And they're right. That's what she's doing. She's giving Kool-Aid to the people because the thing is, is that if you're really against somebody that um, like a criminal, I'm saying like if you have information on criminal behaviors, like let's let's say let's go let's take it back to the fight with, you know, Malia versus uh, Velvet. Right. So if, if Malia is fighting Velvet. Um, right now, law enforcement is going to have to contact her to find that or you know, go to one of her clips and, uh, I mean, new documentary style kind of uh, examples and try to find it embedded in that, you know, but that's not really uh, going to help all law enforcement because the thing is with law enforcement, they need that stuff just publicly available. You know, they shouldn't have to be like going back and forth as emails, you know, and that's in a sense giving the sister from the T uh, power, you know what I'm saying? Um and so what so what you can see here is it's like if you ask the question why does she do that why does she hide all the videos from the past um it, i remember at a certain point nature boy threatening her and saying that if you don't hide those videos i'm going to uh have your channel deleted now now that he's in jail and he can't do that you know, he's going to be in jail for a very, very long time, all the heinous things he's done to one person. But we still don't have uh, the uh, all the charges of everything he's done to everybody. Now, obviously, a lot of those things were international. So, yeah, you know, um, unless he's tried in an international court like Den Haag, 
all the things that he's done in Central America, you know, being kicked out of, of uh, you know, country to country in Central America, whether it's Mexico or Costa Rica, all these different countries, um, you know, all that stuff can't be tried in American courts, right? Because right now he's in Atlanta, in, a, in Atlanta jail, right? But the thing is, is that, you know, we know that, she, that he requested that she hide the videos and now that he's in jail, she's still adhering to his request. And that's the main gist of this lecture is that the T is actually um, being compliant with somebody that she's saying that she's trying to, uh, you know, expose for their crimes. You know, obviously she has helped law enforcement, um, but the thing is she's also done the opposite. You know, and that's why I brought up the thing of a friend of me. If somebody's going back and forth, being wishy-washy, you know, she's, um, you know, uh, given us the some of the information to show that, yes, they're a cult and yes, they're, uh, you know, I mean, you know, yes, they're, you know, people are being exploited and brainwashed and, and assaulted and abused. But the thing is, is that there's a lot of abuse and a lot of assaults and a lot of things. Uh, this is the sister right here, for those who aren't aware, um, the sister from the T. Um, there's a lot of things that aren't on here. And the fact that all those things are hidden is, is a very, very slippery slope. It's very dangerous. Now, you could, you could argue in her defense, oh, if she wanted to just come back and have it be more professional. It's more like documentary style where she's cutting up the clips, but it's, but really it's not really documentary style, you know, cause you can see right here, she was trying to, you know, do some other stories on other subjects and nobody was clicking on it, right? Nobody was clicking on it. So she went back to her bread and butter of, you know, using all the, the videos that she had been hoarding and re-editing them and, and, and reorganizing them in different ways and focusing on the women of the group. All right. So, you know, as an artist, also as a, a video maker, you know, I'm not knocking her for that. You know, that's fine. But it's where are all these other videos from the past? You know what I'm saying? And and that's the thing is like when somebody is hoarding information that could help law enforcement, then literally that means that they are impeding law enforcement. Right. Because if it once was public, and the person that told you to hide the information was the main criminal that you say that you're trying to uh, get bagged, you know, and he's already been bagged, then, you know, it's counterproductive. Uh, because the thing is, we, all of these uh, members, um, and this is my second point, too, uh, she's also um, promoting the members as if they're all the victims, when many of these members are actually... Uh, victims and criminals uh, who took part in, uh, in, the, in the group beatdowns and, and all these things. Like, let's say you go to this sister right up here, uh, this, this one right here that was on Atlanta TV, to, uh, you know, talking about how, you know, she was brainwashed and stuff like that and she's on meds and has mental issues. Uh, I believe, yeah, she, had a, she dropped a music video, right? This, uh, you know, this, this sister right here, she had dropped a, a music video. I don't see where it is on here. Uh, maybe it was a little bit more recent or something like that. But yeah, she had dropped a... Oh yeah, so it says Trey 963 F Yo Chief official music video. And in the music video, she says she actually snitches on herself and proves that she was actually complicit in some of the crimes and the beatdowns and all those things. And that's what I'm saying with my first point. If, if those videos were available to the public, then, you know, law enforcement would not only be able to add extra time served to for Nature Boy's crimes, they in different states or different cities or, or maybe different people that haven't come come out of the um, come come out yet and, and said something about it, you know, like because there's people that maybe they something happened to them, but, you know, they didn't know who that person was. And if they're able to see that video that's that she's currently hiding something would be able to change. So like, let's say this sister right here in this video, I watched it and she was, you know, she was dissing Nature Boy, but then she was bragging about uh, smashing Nature Boy's wife, right? And then she was admitting self auto snitching, self snitching. She was uh, auto snitching on herself saying that uh, Nature Boy, um, that she participated in beating down somebody. She participated, I don't know if it was whether it was gang initiation or whatever, like I was saying, you know, these cults and gangs, it's the same thing, 
you know, um, you know, so it's like she's kind of making Nature Boy the only criminal out of this operation when we know that there's a lot of criminals in this operation, a whole bunch of criminals. And also, you know, not like she you can see she's showing a crime against the black women, but she's not showing the crime of black women here. So she's protecting the black women criminals and kind of making them this kind of exotic thing that she can market and 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 uh, put out there, right? So, you know, that's that's what my critique is of all this, is that, you know, as far as uh, from law enforcement's perspective, this is, uh, you know, she's actually hoarding the information, you know what I'm saying, which is very, very problematic, you know, because it's like, uh, Trey 963, why would you, why would she be posting her new mu music video and promoting her if she was beating down people in the cult, you know, just like we know Tron was being a bouncer and, and keeping people trapped in as far as far as false imprisonment, um, this kind of goes to the narrative of of uh, of you know sisters that are studs being anti male, where you see that you know she's actually uh, defending uh, a stud abuser. Like so, this this is a stud right here, and she's uh, admits in this song that she beat down and abused somebody in a circle. And, you know what I'm saying? So there's just so many mixed messages on this page. She's obviously defeating the whole purpose of what it appears like she's trying to do. Like, it appears as, as like, okay, yeah, she's trying to bring down Nature Boy. Okay, now Nature Boy's down. But she's trying to keep the cult alive. You can see that, you know, uh, you know through the members, you know, who many of which, um, if not the majority of which, are also criminals. Um, as in, you know, beating each other down, you know, uh, you know, scamming people on the internet, you know, PPP loan fraud, all these different things, you know, and she's also not reporting everything that's happening. Like even when, you know, Nature Boy was indicted, you know, it's, it, she didn't even talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Like she showed the trials, like, oh, she's got first dibs on the trials or, or whatever, you know, for viewers and, and to try to get her likes up. I mean, her subscribers up, right? You can see. Got thirty. She's got thirty-three thousand. But the thing is, is that you know, um, even with uh, all these videos, you know, she is not condemning um, the women that are criminals in this cult. You know, or former and current. You know, she's not condemning them as criminals. She's trying to keep the cult going on. Hey, maybe one of the other people will be the new cult leader, and you know, this is her bread and butter. You know. Um, and that's why I was saying shout out to the beam team, because with the beam team, uh, you know, they've been, you know, adding commentary and, and um, they're not just posting uh, videos and, and uh, kind of uh, exotifying uh, this whole thing. They're just they're they're actually, you know, denouncing it. You know, they're, they're actively denouncing it and quantifying everything and, and you know, really, uh, you know, actually not being like a friend of me they're they're obviously against nature boy whereas with the t with the t you don't know you know like they're going back and forth you know they're protecting you know what i'm saying they're just protecting all these people like like you know even with uh solar and, and his baby you know what happened with that you know it's like she's riding behind you know all these people may have done even more heinous things that we don't even know about because she's hiding all the videos on nature boy's behalf Right. And that's why I'm going back here to the beginning, you know what I'm saying, of, you know, when this starts one year ago, you know, she's got, you know, probably hundreds of videos, you know, before this. So, you know, you know, from the perspective of um, of justice, this page isn't doing justice to this whole matter because it's, you know, it's she's going back and forth. She's being kind of like a double agent. Right. And then, yeah, that's all I really wanted to talk about this because it's like, you know, if somebody, let's say you take Charles Manson, it's like, all right, you got some videos, you know, Charles Manson's bag now, but all his fo followers were, imagine if his followers were releasing blogs and people were, you know, promoting his followers and not condemning it. Just like, oh, you know, I feel so bad for these Charles Manson followers, even though some of his followers may have murdered babies, you know what I'm saying? Because... You know, we know that all these things have been happening, uh, all types of stuff that he, nobody's been convicted for yet. And since there's a lot of, you know, there, there could be dozens, um, if not hundreds of crimes 
that uh, people um, in this cult haven't been convicted for yet, you know, it's just, it's, it's very troubling. And you can see here she's trying to, like, you know, cover some other people, but uh, nobody's really clicking on it. You see, this one's 10,000, but the ones before it's 18, 18. You know, then she goes back to, you know, kind of staying with, um, staying with the bread and butter of focusing on the cult. But see, once the cult is over, which the cult's already ending and it's already wrapping up, that means the tea's wrapped up because her fans, you know, clearly, as she, you know, when she's tried to introduce new topics, they're not really interested in other topics. They're pretty much interested in that. So if you're, at, so since she's trying to keep this topic alive, she's not trying to destroy it. You know, like I was saying, like the Beam Team, shout out to them again. They're clearly destroying the topic. They're they're destroying Nature Boy. You know what I'm saying? They're they're uh, exposing everybody. You know what I'm saying? They're putting out facts. You know what I'm saying? Where where she is, you know, kind of more playing playing the wall and 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 doing whatever keeps the channel subscribers going up and doing whatever, you know, seems to be the most uh, you, you know the most exotic. So like you can see here, she's trying to uh, focus on some other things. You know what I'm saying? And some other topics and relate it to this whole case, right? And even we see Tron right here. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, she's not, uh, you know, Tron could have all types of uh, crimes that he did when he was working for Nature Boy, you know, when he was a bouncer for Nature Boy, he was a, a, a thug for uh, Nature Boy, you know what I'm saying? And all those videos are before the, the year ago. So that's basically all I got to say about this is that, you know, uh, I'd like to see these videos be unhidden, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, because... It obviously, uh, if she's got, if she's just, you know, screen capturing stuff from uh, different sites and then just uploading it, that's how a lot of the other, the older stuff was before a year ago is a lot more unorganized. And this, you know, these videos are more thought out where it's, you know, longer and, you know, kind of, uh, it's not just clips from, you know, current events that are happening. You can see, you uh, you know, if if everything was was visible, you'd be able to see that um, that the perspective that she's coming from is not against the cult. You know, sometimes she's against Nature Boy, sometimes she's not. Sometimes she's, but that, but all the time she's never against the women who are you know committing heinous things. You know, doing things to their their babies. You know, doing all types of crazy stuff. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and yeah, so, you know, and I, and I do want to say I feel for all the victims, all the cult members who are victims, but victims can also turn around and abuse. So if a victim, if somebody's a victim and they've also victimized others, they're still an offender, right? And yeah, so that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, this is my message to the T is, is please, uh, go against nature boy's word and uh show all these old videos because you're you know you're actually uh you know you're acknowledging his uh his requests you know and yeah so you know it's just a very very troubling thing to see uh people being manipulated by that and when i say people that are being manipulated i'm talking about the t fans because in a, in, a, in a sense, she's actually manipulating the, the, the T fans by not giving them all the information and just, you know, putting the information out um, in, in whatever way is most convenient for her, right? And lastly, once again, I'm not, you know, a gossip blog. You know, we're just talking about science and current events and criminology and how it relates to uh, people that are, um, you know, trying to keep the cult alive like the T. Um, I noticed that when I uh, did a couple of stories on Nature Boy, um, some of her T people started trying to come to my page and and uh, and you know just try to get on some uh, gossip blog, uh, aggressive fan type of stuff, aggressive subscribers, and they were trying to come for me. And I'm like, hey, this is a hip hop science page. This is not like a um, a, a, a gossip blog. You know what I'm saying? You know. You know, shout out to all the blogs out there, uh, but, you know, um, having people actually come from my page and start to, like, you know, unlike stuff and, and report stuff, like I had, a, you know, the video, I had a video that was, you know, all monetized, all clear, but somebody, you know, one of 
her fans or whoever, whatever was, you know, like they, they all started coming at my page this summer and, and, and trying to report stuff. And, you know, uh, I keep everything clean, clean and scientific and, and factual based. And, uh, you know, so maybe she was seeing like, oh, maybe that's competition. So let me flag that or whatever, you know, but, you know, th there is no competition when it's justice, you know, and that's it. This is this is about justice. And the T is clearly uh, impeding justice. All right. Peace.